I've been looking for quite some time to find a lightweight sleeping system for my bug out bag that doesn't take up a lot of room and recently I discovered the Mummy Pod First Sleep System. In this video we'll explain its unique features you've probably never seen before in a sleeping bag, discuss the specs, demonstrate the setup with a very lightweight hammock system and explain how this could be a game changer for your bug out bag. So first let's discuss what makes this particular setup so unique. The biggest advantage is the combined weight and compact size. The entire weight of the sleep kit, including the mummy bag, hammock, sleep suspension, and rain tarp, by the way, the rain tarp is not shown here, is just 4.4 pounds. That's pretty amazing if you think about it. So as you can see, the sleep system right out the gate addresses a big problem that plagues many bug out bags, size and weight. There's nothing really quite like it on the market at the moment. It can be used as a traditional bag to be used on the ground, but what makes it truly unique is that it can be incorporated with a hammock using an innovative approach, which I'll demonstrate in just a moment. With a traditional hammock sleep system, you need an underquilt for your sleeping bag, which adds even more weight and space to your backpack. But with this particular system, it gets around these issues. So here's some of the unique features of this bag. First, you'll notice a foot box. It has a zipper that allows you to open it to slide the hammock through. There's a drawstring at the bottom so you can tighten it up to seal it around the hammock. At the top, there's hanging tabs so you can lock the bag on the hammock, which we'll discuss more momentarily. At the other end of the bag, you have a shoulder baffle setup. This is a new feature compared to a traditional sleeping bag. They added in large flaps at the top, which wraps around your shoulders and neck, keeping the cold air out. There's also hanging tabs on this end as well, which we'll cover more in a second. Another unique feature is the zipper. It is in the middle of the bag and is using the new YKK zippers, which prevent snagging. You can also zip from both ends of the bag. On the back side of the zipper, you have double zipper baffles, which completely seals the zipper. They've redone the baffle system with a grid in a vertical fashion, which will keep the down from falling around the sides and keep it locked in place when hanging on the hammock. Earlier, we mentioned the hanging tabs. To prevent the sleeping bag from sagging in the middle of the hammock and slipping down on the ends, they've implemented hanging tags at the foot and head of the bag. Before we demonstrate setting this bag up in the hammock system, let me run you through the specs of the bags itself. For the temperature rating, they offer three different options. 0, 15, and 30 degrees Fahrenheit. The weight depends on whether you choose synthetic or down fill. The bag I got is rated for 15 degrees Fahrenheit, is filled with down, and it comes in at 2 pounds and 10 ounces, including the compression bag. They also have a synthetic fill option for this bag, but adds about 2 pounds, bringing the sleeping bag's weight to 4 pounds 9 ounces. When compressed, the down bag size is 9 by 8 inches. The bag comes in two sizes regular size which has a shoulder girth of 66 inches and bag length of 75 inches. For individuals over 6 feet tall, they have a long wide model which has a shoulder girth of 70 inches and 81 inches long. For insulation, they have two options, synthetic and down. For the synthetic insulation option, the insulation is 0.7 denier thick which is 10 times thinner than industry standard, meaning it creates more air pockets, meaning more warmth, and it can be compressed smaller than a standard bag. The outer shell uses a 75 denier diamond ripstop shell which is coated with a water resistant coating. The down insulation option has been coated with a DWR coating at the down level. This means if the down comes in contact with water, they'll be more resistant to getting wet and keeping their loft better. The shell in the bag is a 70 denier ripstop. The shell also has a DWR coating to make it water resistant. The hammock is ultra light, can handle up to 300 pounds and weighs just 13 ounces with the included quick suspension system and tree straps. Again, this is very lightweight and compact. So let's demonstrate how this system works. We'll begin by securing our hammock strap on both ends to either a tree or solid structure which can support the weight. Next we'll set up the hammock. Once we have the hammock up, we'll open our sleeping bag and place it in the center of the hammock. Now we'll put our mummy pot on the hammock. To do this, unzip the footer box zipper. Reach through the sleeping bag to the face hole on the other end. Then unhook the end of the hammock system and slide the hammock through the sleeping bag. Once the bag is on, connect the hammock to the suspension straps. Once we've got the bag on the hammock, the goal is to center the bag on the hammock. We'll do this by using the kit that came with the bag to run a cord through the hanging tabs on both ends of our bag. We'll run the cords through the carabiner, then run one end through the tab and back into the cord lock. We'll repeat with the other end of the cord running it through the other tab. We won't fully tighten these yet, but we'll wait until we have all the cord locks in place. Now that we have both ends set up, We'll pull out the slack by pulling the excess cord through the cord locks, centering the bag on the hammock. I'll provide links in the description section if you want to view more detailed demonstrations for the company manufacturing the bag. The final step is to tighten the drawstring in the foot box and then tuck in the foot flap into the hole on the end. And there you have it. 
As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I've been looking for an ultra lightweight sleeping system that is also compact for my bug out bag, but I haven't found a setup I quite like. I've currently got the Eno Hammock, Rainfly, and Atlas suspension straps in my bug out bag, but didn't want to add on more weight with the sleeping bag and underquilt. While this system will cost you more than your budget options that you can get at your local Walmart, it also has practical applications in not only emergency preparedness, but for those like myself that enjoy outdoors and backpacking. If you're in the market for adding a sleeping system to your personal bug out bag, I think it's a smart and innovative solution and I'll be adding it to my own personal bug out bag. The goal with my bag is to cut the weight and space as much as possible and this system helps me move in this direction a great deal. At the time this video is released, the product is on Kickstarter and you can pick it up at a discounted price. I'll provide a link in the description section below if you want to check this out. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like or share on social media. And if you have any feedback or input, please provide in the comments section below. As I always learn so much from the YouTube community. As always, be safe out there.